Hello everyone. I'm Manasa Sridhar. I'm a multiple sclerosis patient actually. So during the suffering of my multiple sclerosis, I visited for the treatment. There they have suggested me steroids. I went through the steroids, so which led to led this uh, hip joint pain for me. It was very severe and I was unable to walk at least. I had undergone a small procedure called pin traction procedure. Manza has been suffering with her hip pain from past one or two years. Initially she was diagnosed to have an infection in her hip, so all the routine treatment according to the infection was done. But still her symptoms did not get better and she was slowly almost uh, completely succumbed to the wheelchair. She was not able to walk few steps also, so, so day to day activities were severely affected. So when she reached out to us, we examined her thoroughly and we did all the necessary tests possible like blood test, MRI scan, everything. So we found that it was not infection, but it was actually what we call as a avascular necrosis. Avascular necrosis means it is a condition where the hip joint ball becomes dead. See normally our hip joint ball is supposed to be very smooth. This ball and socket joint normally should be very smooth. That's in a normal young people. But in certain conditions, the ball of the female head they loses its blood supply this is what we call as a avascular necrosis and the loses its blood supply slowly it starts becoming rough and also the shape of the ball gets changed so they will have tough time to walk and even to move the hip it is going to be very difficult so this particular condition avascular necrosis generally seen in patients who have taken steroid uh, doses for a long time and sometimes it can happen due to idiopathic reasons where the reason is not known so this particular patient has taken steroids a couple of years ago and that has resulted in avian and also in our past three four years of our clinical practice we have started seeing a lot of young patients coming back with this avascular necrosis of the hip joint which is probably due to the rampant usage of steroids during our uh, corona or pandemic and also a lot of these young individuals are undergoing total hip replacement because when this avascular necrosis reaches grade 4 stage we have only one option that is hip replacement but if the patient reaches out to an early stages of avascular necrosis like grade 1 or grade 2 we have certain options which is less invasive and what we call as a osgro or a bone stem cell implantation so we inject the stem cell into the dead part of the bone and that tends to regrow of course the percentage of the success in such surgeries is not 100% but yes, it is worth trying if this patient comes at an early stage because that's the only way to reverse it if the patient reaches out to us in the early stages of grade uh, avian head of femur. So this patient unfortunately reached out to us in quite a late stage where the entire head was damaged and she, nothing was left in her hip joint. So that's the reason why she was having a very tough time to walk and to do her day to day activities. So after thorough examination analysis and all the planning was done and we uh, posted her for what we call as a robotic total hip replacement. So we used a robotic technology and we did the total hip replacement in a perfect precise way. So the surgery was so successful that patient was able to walk the same day within few hours from the surgery and within two days she was able to walk back to her home. And now I'm perfectly all right. Like I could uh, able to walk evening itself on the day of surgery and uh, the next day also walking alone with uh, using a walker. And sir suggested that within a couple of weeks I will be okay with on my own feet without using even the walker. So generally in patients who undergo total hip replacement, they will be made to walk within the same day and again the next day also they will be made to walk in the ward. The first one or two weeks is focused more on mobilization, that means making them walk with a walker, making them bend their knee, bend their hip, all these activities. So generally in two to three weeks period, all these patients will come out of walker and they'll be able to walk independently without any support. After three weeks from the surgery, our focus will shift to the strengthening part. We will start strengthening her hip, strengthening the muscles around the knee. So that will enable them to go back to the normal life, like how they were used to do before the onset of these issues. Over a period of time, by one to one and a half month or max, the max two months, they'll be able to do all their day-to-day -day activities like driving, riding, cycling, swimming, most of their day-to-day -day life activities. But yes, physical activities like playing sports and doing aggressive physical activities will take time at least like four to five months period. 
and I am really happy to say that all the assistance they have given after the post surgery was amazing. Each and every one were coming and uh, talking about my experience after this. I am really, I am feeling lightweighted actually after the surgery. I, my leg was like a big trunk of the tree. I was feeling very uncomfortable with that. Right now I am feeling like a weightless body actually. And uh, the, all the staff, sisters and the floor managers, everyone, they are very nice to me, very sweet and uh, it's a really memorable experience for me to stay here and uh, be the part of uh, Kaveri team. Thank you so much sir, I couldn't thank enough for uh, what you have done for me. I'm really very happy and very satisfied with care you have given me during the surgery, before the surgery and post the surgery. I'm really very grateful. Even my mother is very grateful to you sir. She was saying about you like uh, you were such a sweet person after the surgery. You went to her and you consoled her and you told that everything is fine. It went uh, well. So I couldn't thank enough sir. Thank you so much.